You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Today, I have the pleasure of having with me Linda Warman from Old Colony Hospice. Welcome, Linda. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Mark. Um, you've been there a while. I have. Nine years. Wow. Almost, I thought it was 10, so yeah. I was pretty close. Yeah, not, you were close. Not too far <laughs> off the money. Long time. Um, you have an annual event every year mm -hmm. that we tend to trek over to Canton <laughs> for. Yes. Uh, tell us about it. So this year we're having our 17th memorial stepping out for Old Colony Hospice Walk and 5K Run. And um, it's a wonderful event because it brings together the families that we've taken care of over the years to come out and walk in honor or in memory of a loved one that's no longer with them. And we also invite anybody from the community who wants to come for a memorial walk or run to participate. Um, it's really a special day for us because it does bring back sort of, it's like a, an alumni class, it's our families. And um, so they get together, they come and wear t-shirts with pictures of their loved ones or a fun name, you know, Team Andy's Army, mm -hmm. you know, something great, they decorate them and they get together. Um, you know, a lot of people will have memorial masses and, and a lot of our families still do that, but this is a different fun way to come together and honor their loved ones. And we really enjoy that. April? April 26th. Okay. It's at the Irish Cultural Center in Canton. That's where we start and finish the walk. And then there's a nice private uh, 5K course. So that's about a 3.1 mile mm -hmm. event. So you can walk the course or you can sign up to be a runner for the course. And then we've also added in a two mile wooded walk on a nature trail that's been marked off by the Mass Audubon Society. So if you prefer something a little more scenic with some trees and a little more rugged, it's not a paved uh, road. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so for those that are more adventurous, that's another option for them. So there's there's a few different, we're kind of like the Pan Mass Challenge. We give you route options. Is that nearby? That is also off the, it's off, off the, the property. property. So everybody starts from the starting line and then um, the walkers and runners who want the flat course will go off to the left and the walkers who prefer to take the wooded trail will go off to the right and everything's well marked and then everybody reconvenes back at the tent and we have a wonderful after party. Um, there's a bounce house, face painting, mm -hmm. music, uh, photo booth. Sometimes the rock, the rock's mascot is there taking pictures, KO's there waving mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and taking pictures with everybody. Everybody loves that. Um, great DJ. We give out recognition awards for top fundraisers. We give out a team spirit award for the team that comes with the most energy and enthusiasm, best designed t-shirt. Um, and uh, we have raffles. So there's another way people can participate. So there's a lot of options. It's a lot of fun and great food. We've had Texas Roadhouse. We've had Bertucci's. Um, so there's a lot of different things going on that day. And it, and it is a family fun day, too. Time frame on that day. What what happens? Right. Well, you registration and yeah. warm up and all that. What time okay. does it start? So 11.30, people can start registering in person. There is, there is pre-registration going on right now online on our website. So if they go to www.oldcolonyhospice.org, they can click on the link to register for the walk. Mm -hmm. And if they pre-register by the end of March, I believe it's March 29th, they'll get the free event T-shirt. Um, is a $25 donation required for sign up for anybody over the age of 16 and anybody under 16 is free. Mm -hmm. um, and then the day of the walk, um, people can start registering at 11.30. And because it is a fundraiser for us, it's one of our largest community fundraisers, we do ask that people um, try to raise money to help us and our goal is $85,000. So people can raise money online. We give them a free fundraising webpage, you know, very similar to the GoFundMe mm -hmm. crowdfunding uh, platforms. We've been using it for years. We're sort of the original uh, GoFundMe um, organizations. But so they have a free webpage that they can go on and send out emails with, or they can collect the traditional ways, have a yard sale, have a bake sale. Our staff does a bake sale and raises over $600 for our own staff team, which is really cool. So you said... What annual? How many? 17. 17. Mm -hmm. Okay, 17. so you've met your goals in the past. We have met our goals in the past. And every year the goal goes up just yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we to, try, absolutely. Okay. You know, some years more than others, and some years we don't quite get there. Um, last year was a little harder. You know, I think sometimes the economy, other factors, um, you know, we don't always get to where we need to be, but the 85000 will make a tremendous difference to the care that we can give our patients. And we're looking for good weather. We are we're always. sick of all the weather, and we <laughs> want to have no, that, be no The end of April, yes. there's not going to be any snow. No no snow that day. Okay, there, no was, there was a little rain, if I remember right, <laughs> yeah, last we've had, year. Yeah, we've had a, a few sprinkles, but, but usually it's a, a beautiful sunny day. It's sort of the the trade winds of April, you know, as spring is uh, coming in into its full bloom. 
we get a little bit of a breeze. It's nice. We've had days where it's been in the 80s, mm -hmm. days where it's been in the 60s. It's always been great. People come with uh, strollers, scooters, wagons. We've had kids bring their bikes. Mm -hmm. um, I think one year we had a couple of rollerbladers. So there's a lot, like I said, it's a flat course, so it's not hilly. It's well marked and easy, and it's only 3.1 miles. And it's not in, on a main drag. No, it's, it's in off, a private. You go off of 138 mm -hmm. onto the private land, yes. and then, like you said, you have the the, the nature walk to go along Absolutely. with it as well. It's and a beautiful location it over is. there. It really and is. And people nice. bring their dogs along for the walk. They're they're welcome to do the walk portion of the event, but because of the number of people that come, you know, we have sometimes between 600 and 800 people that attend the walk. Um, the dogs don't come back to the after party. They, you know, they can go back into the people's vehicles um, for the after party. It's just, you know, you never know what's going to happen with a lot of dogs in one place, but they've, they're welcome to come out on the walk and be a part of the day, and people have always brought them. Now, we have three minutes left yes. already, believe okay. it or not. So you have a second dimension to this, yes. uh, a, a recycling type of fun also helps. Right. Tell us about that, and just let's leave a little room just to talk about hospice. Okay. So quickly, we're doing a program called Upcycling. It's going to happen the morning and the afternoon of the walk. So between 9 and 11 and 1 and 3, people can drive up to the same location where the walk is being held and drop off their consumer electronics. So that's smartphones, tablets, laptops, anything that they want to bring in. Um, and it's certified by this company that they will um, data wipe the machine. So anything that has personal information on it will be properly data wiped. It's HIPAA compliant and Department of Defense compliant software. They've got the highest certification and they'll be given a proof of mm -hmm. um, cleaning certificate. And it helps us because this company takes the products, gets a cash value for them and gives us 50%. So just for example, she told us about a, um, a company that donated 300 Blackberries that turned into $3,800 for mm -hmm. the charity. So that's what could help us. So just, you know, obviously an average consumer doesn't have 300 items. But if we could collect 2,000 consumer electronics, so any of your personal electronics, um, a desktop, like I said, a laptop, an iPad, any kind of Apple product, smartphones, et cetera, flip phones, um, anything that can be upcycled to keep its usefulness and stay out of the landfills, because that's the other piece of the program that's great. It's a greening of the environment and it's a way to help charities raise money without writing a check. You just beat me to that. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> right. It doesn't cost so, you anything. So lastly, yes. hospice. Hospice. Why is the work so important, and why is this event so important? Well, Old Colony Hospice has been around for 35 years, and we're one of the few nonprofit hospices left in Massachusetts. We choose to be nonprofit for a lot of reasons, but it allows us the latitude we need to really, truly be able to give people the care they deserve um, without the limits of making profit margin. And that's why we fundraise, to, to make sure that we can give all the services that our patients need, because no two people are alike. We provide music therapy by a certified music therapist, because some people with Alzheimer's need that type of therapy. We have pet therapy dogs and their volunteers that go mm -hmm. with them, because people, once they move into a nursing home, lose the ability to have a pet. And so having somebody come and visit them who has a trained therapy dog, and then we provide all the, the training for the volunteers so they know what Medicare requires and what they're allowed to do and what not to do. So that's not paid for through the reimbursement because that's we do get Medicare funding. We get Medicaid funding, private insurance. But they only give you a stipend. We're going to do a whole other show yep. at some point on right. just hospice. Okay. So lastly, just real quick, website, yep. phone number, Got it. date and time. Okay. So website, www.oldcolonyhospice.org. Phone number, 781-341-4145. Sunday, April 26, 2015, the 17th Memorial Stepping Out for Old Colony Hospice, 5K Walk and Run at the Irish Cultural Center in Canton. And we hope everybody will sign up, and we know you guys are going to be there to film it this year. Absolutely. Wonderful. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here on the City of Champions.